On Wall Street, the Dow plunged 483 points to finish at 33,947. Time now for Consumer Confidential with KTLA 5's David Lazarus. Okay, why did it plunge? It plunged, and you're not going to be surprised, interest rate concerns again, but this time exacerbated by Friday's jobs report, which came in stronger than expected and showed that months of rate increases really aren't having the desired effect on the economy. So Wall Street got rattled today, not just by interest rates in general, but by an emerging sense, real or unreal, that the Fed is ready to keep raising rates until it pushes the U.S. economy all the way into recession, that that will be the final point at which the, the Fed will finally say, OK, enough with the tight monetary policy, we're going to back off. But obviously, that's like playing chicken because the economy, is it going to be able to withstand a recession? And what will be the fallout from that? So we got a lot of open questions still. Among the big movers today, Tesla down by a little more than 6% after reports that it is going to cut back production at its Shanghai plant. Tesla called this false news. On other news, Slack's uh, co-founder and CEO Stuart Butterfield announced that he's going to be stepping down next month. This comes after his co-CEO Brett Taylor also announced his resignation. Slack was purchased by Salesforce two years ago. Now it looks like Salesforce is starting to assert itself and wants to play with its toy. Okay, we've been teasing this one all day. A motel chain offering candles that smell like a road trip. Like a road trip. What does a road and, trip smell like? And that's exactly right. No, I'll answer that. Yeah. Now, what we're talking about specifically is Super 8, and they are now offering a collection of candles that, as Glenn notes, are supposed to smell like a road trip and to capture some of the fragrances that Super 8 says come with being on the road. Okay, I'll get to those in a sec. This is just the latest example of corporate candle promotions. Don't forget McDonald's offered a candle that smells like a quarter pounder. KFC offered a candle that smells like fried chicken. Heck, Gwyneth Paltrow's Goop offered a candle that smells like yeah. her. I'll get back to that in a sec. Okay, so what does a road trip smell like? Well, according to Super 8, the candles, one of them will smell like gasoline. Another will smell like coffee. Another will smell like a motel's crisp, clean linen. How much does it cost? $19.74, or 1974, which reflects the year that Super 8 opened up its first hotel. And that's considerably less than the $75 that Goop charges for the candle that smells like... Gwyneth Paltrow's crisp, clean linen. Guys? I saw one that smelled like waffles. Oh. That looks good. I could go with some that waffles. That just made me want to eat I'd go food, for that though. One. Yeah. Oh. Oh, but I don't know if I want my house smelling like that. But, That's you know, true. okay. 